Oh, so I guess underneath there's buses. So there's a bus level underneath us. And as the pu buses pass through, there are sensors which trigger the uh, water jets. And that's why the, uh, the fountains go off. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop, boop. Good morning, friends. Uh, today's gonna be a bit of a different day here in uh, San Francisco. Uh, Dora and I first, I mean, we got our coffee, Phil's coffee. Dora went to work. I'm actually headed to Salesforce Park, which I think is a park. Really, like, it's a new addition to San Francisco. Uh, it's supposed to be really nice. So I'm gonna probably be doing most of my work there today. I figured I've been cooped up in that hotel room for the past few days. I kind of want to get out, stretch my legs. <laughs> I guess it's just a change of scenery. It's nice. Also, it gives uh, the maid a chance to clean our hotel room. I'm on my way to the Salesforce Park now, and I'll see you there. Salesforce so Park is actually really nice. It's, I don't know if it's because I'm here at like nine, almost 10 o'clock, but there's, there's, it doesn't seem like there's many people here. I'm actually kind of surprised a place like this in New York City would be packed out. And especially the fact that it's like free. There's, I just love how there's so much different plants and kind of greenery, like, they split it up into different sections where it's kind of like you get a, a Mediterranean climate of plants and then same thing with it, you get African and just a, a whole bunch of other ones as well. It's super cool. Uh, just walking around, I was able to see so many different kinds of greenery and, and plants. And again, it's just so peaceful here. Like you, you would know that you're in a city because of the buildings surrounding it. But other than that, it's it's really nice like i almost forgot that we were in like the city of san francisco and it's cool because they got like classes and stuff i saw like a yoga at like 12 30 a writing workshop uh, i think there was some band playing or something but it, it it seems like there's a bunch of different events going on here too and there's a bunch of different spots to to just sit and relax but then i also noticed that there were these like fountains only on one side of the park and they would go off randomly like it was there wasn't it didn't seem like there was like a rhyme or reason to them or maybe at least i don't know why they're there i'd have to figure that out oh so i guess underneath there's buses so there's a bus level underneath us and as the pu buses pass through there are sensors which trigger the uh water jets and that's why the uh the fountains go off. There's also a public bathroom, well, multiple public bathrooms here. And honestly, it's one of, it's some of the more cleaner public bathrooms I've ever been to. <laughs> so I guess that's really nice. One way you can get up here is by a gondola. But to me, it's, it seems <laughs> very unnecessary or like, I'm not sure why they have it. Only because it's like, it's kind of really slow. You're better off just going into the transit center and taking an escalator up. I feel like that's like way quicker. And the gondola is only like one way. So it only goes up, you can't go down it. If you want to go back down, you'd have to take one of the uh, escalators down or the stairs. They also have a like a playground or like a jungle gym. Um, it's a small one, but it's just really more for climbing for kids, I guess. What really surprised me is that they have like a reading room, which is like a cart with just, um, with books. 
and also right next to it they have like this recess stand uh, again for kids or I mean big kids <laughs> that, that's actually really cool like that's something I didn't really expect what's surprising to me is that they actually don't allow pets up here and that's surprising to me because I've always associated San Francisco with like pets and dogs um, every park you go to you see um, people with with dogs and I'm a little surprised but I guess I can see why there are also two cafes here one called Andy Town and Salesforce Trailblazer I think and they look pretty good so if you're hungry or thirsty you can definitely grab a bite to eat here all right so it's about 1 30 p.m now and i was able to get some work done here in andy town uh, but i think it's time for me to grab lunch i had about two cups of coffee here and my <laughs> now my my heart's kind of racing andy town is actually pretty cool i got their original bird which is like their cold brew with uh soda and their homemade whipped cream i've never really had carbonated coffee like that but i would definitely recommend it but anyway, this was basically the Salesforce Park and it was a really cool space to hang out, um, do some work, or just visit for any tourist. Uh, right now, again, it's about 1.30 and there seems to be a lot more people here now. Uh, I guess there are people on, on their lunch breaks and just uh, they just come here to, to just chill out. Yeah, and the weather's a lot nicer now too. As with all our endings, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release videos every week, so see you then. Laters on the Menjay.